Welcome back. It is cooking time with HEB. We are here in Studio B. Chef Cheyenne is in the house. Yes, Always great to have you here. It smells wonderful in here. Thank you. So let's go down the line here. What, what do we have here? So we are actually doing our Mustang Sally sticky pulled pork today. I think, um, you know, Cambrell and everyone, they're the only ones that really know what the weather is wanting to do. So this is something you can do inside. You can also do it outside. I'm featuring this in the Instant Pot today. So if you got that Instant Pot for mm -hmm. Christmas, you haven't used can it Can I put yet. some in here? Absolutely, please. So this does have our uh, Vela Farms Mustang grape jelly. This is made right here in Texas. It's made with Mustang grape grapes, which actually aren't as cloyingly sweet as your traditional red grape jelly. I never thought about putting grape jelly into an Instapot if I'm going to make pulled pork. Yeah, absolutely. What it actually does is it pulls a little bit of tanginess, but it also pulls a really nice sweetness in there. To, the whole bottle. Absolutely. Um, so we're also putting in our smoky sop and sauce, um, only found at HEB with your cooking connection. This is going to add some spice, a little bit of that barbecuiness to it as well. Um, and then if you want to, you can throw in some ginger that's going to add just a little bit more of that Asian flair as well. And you've got some red onion. Some red sauce, onions. Though. Now, what I do love about the red onions is after they're cooked, once you pull them out, they're caramelized. Oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. It's amazing, gracious. right? Mm -hmm. So you can put this pulled pork on uh, sandwiches. I put it on a baked potato today. You can do everything in it. And it's going to cook how it. long? This is going to cook in an instant pot. It's going to be about 30 to 35 minutes, depending on how um, how tender you want it. Mm -hmm. In a crock pot, uh, eight hours on low and six hours on high. Okay, and right here we've got some macaroni. We do have some uh, pasta salad that we're doing today. This is with the bacon jam. Um, so I know one of my favorite side dishes is actually uh, jalapeno ranch pasta salad. Mm. Oh, it's really good. So this is something the kids can help you with. We boiled our pasta and uh, chilled that overnight. So we've already got our mayonnaise. You just put the, jala uh, the bacon jam in there and we're just gonna mix that together. Uh -huh. Everything else just gets thrown into the bowl after that. Okay. So this is something awesome because you can make it ahead of time and if you're busy, like I'm busy, I know you're busy, um, you can make this ahead of time and then leave it in the fridge and you're ready to go. And it's nice because everything just kind of marries together. Yeah, everything together just marries fridge. together and you get a little bit of heat in there. If you want it spicier, you can use the jalapeno bacon jam as well. So moving down here, we're actually doing some creamed corn today. Mm. It is rodeo season after yes. all. So one of my favorite things at the rodeo is, of course, the um, corn. Mm -hmm. You know, you get your corn on the cob with the Parmesan and everything. So we're sauteing this just a little bit. You want it to get a little bit brown. We have our... Uh, red bell peppers here. Add some nice dimensions with the color. Yeah, it adds, I always tell um, my family, my friends, eat your colors, eat the rainbow. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, your plate looks pretty, but also you're eating healthier as and well. And real quick, because I know we're running out of time here, you wanted to talk about this. So this is our Ancha Marita sauce by Humble House. This company is actually based out of San Antonio. It's got a nice kind of smoky sweetness to it because it is a mm -hmm. tamarind paste. So um, we're going to add that. You can put it on the lotes and everything that you love. Chef Cheyenne, thank you so much for a look at these recipes, just head on over to our website, clickthouston.com. We'll be right back.